Hi, I'm Rachel from Girl Director, and today I want to share with you some important do's and don'ts when it comes to making green screen videos. When I was first introduced to green screen in the late 80s, it used to be something that was special, that took a lot of lighting and setting up. I remember Superman, it was the first place that I really started to see them embracing green screen, from my memory anyway, and using it quite well. I never used to like it because you could always see green around people's heads and body and I found it looked really, really fake. Weirdly enough though, my first job in television was working for a kids show called, for some of you may remember, Mully Grops and the face on the show was all using you know, green screen to key out just the eyes and the lips. It was a bit freaky and they used it every single episode. But fast forward a few years and now it's much easier and better to create things. And the great thing is though, editing programs such as Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere and iMovie, you can make green screen look so much better. There are definite do's and don'ts when it comes to using it though. Here's the don'ts. The worst thing in the world to do is to put a background behind you that doesn't match your lighting or brand or look really fake. Be really careful of reflections on dresses or if you've got jewelry on, remember to, to not wear green as well, otherwise you'll, you'll just disappear into the background. You'd be surprised how many people actually wear green on their outfit and wonder what happens. Make sure you also iron your backdrop. Make it as uncreased as you can because it'll give you a much better result. Here's some do's. Make sure that there are no shadows behind you. See how clean it is? And step away from the green screen. I'm about, you know, a couple of steps away because you don't want to stand right up against the wall. So make sure that you iron the backdrop. It makes it much easier for keying. And choose a background that looks like you're really part of it. Look at the colors, look at the lighting, look at the depth of field. You know, put a little bit of soft focus on the background to give the shot some depth and use a spill suppression when you're editing and tweak the final color grade with a brightness and contrast to make sure that it all blends together and looks good with your background. So this should hopefully inspire you and give you some new awareness about how to set up a green screen properly. So I really look forward to seeing you in the next video next time. Remember to make sure that if you want to hear more or you've got specific things you want to learn, make sure that you contact us, email us or, or join us on Facebook. I'd love to hear what you want us to talk about. See you next time. Bye. Ha!